He's not listening to you, huh? Yeah, like you. Your friend? Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Wanna come, Wandalam, and also Namaskar from Doha, Qatar. Yes, welcome back to another video from Doha. Uh, today, I have come to one of the popular spots. One of the popular spots. I think it's a mall. It's a mall, the Largio Mall. One is in the one you find it in Italy, one you find it in. I think one of them. Uh, Balaji Hotel that I stayed in Vegas, a similar name. So we go inside and explore the Balaji Mall today. Let's see if it's the best one or not. Let's go and explore. Let's do this. So the careful supermarket I think I uh, went to when I was in Tunisia. It was one of the biggest. Oh wow, look at this. Wow. <laughs> So it says Villaggio. It's not Villaggio, right? It's yeah. a Villaggio. Welcome back to Villaggio. Is it? This one? Let's go inside and see. This is the best. Is this the best one? I'm not too sure. Let's go ahead. So the careful supermarket I think I uh, went to when I was in Tunisia. It was one of the biggest. Oh wow, look at this. Wow. Wow, look at this one. Huh? Like the Vegas Village Hotel. Yeah. That looks, looks pretty cool. It looks like a sky inside the mall. So beautiful. It looks like a small village, to be honest with you. So I think my hands are tied up today, maybe. Yeah, a lot more to... I was thinking you know, it's way larger, but it's not, it's, it's the larger. It looks super cool. So let's go. Uh, they have Victoria's Secrets here, one of the popular brands in uh, everywhere, even in UK as well. Sephora, I think we met, uh, we seen Sephora in Canada. When I was in Canada, I think that was Sephora. Victoria's Secrets was a very, very popular one. Let's see what Yeah. So branded, branded on. Um, Branded uh, shopping spree over here. This is another one. Pico Milano. Mostly like an Italian theme going on around here. Italian theme. The blue print. Blue mint. Not blue print. It's blue mint. But the eye catching one is. Looks like a um, sky. Sky on top of it. I don't know whether you guys can see it. It's like a sky dog. And you have Mac, Mac there, Mazzarese, Mambo. Mambo is just like a shoe shop. It's not a branded one, but maybe it's branded to look at that back here. It looks like a castle. It looks like a castle. What's in Riva Island? Yeah, UK brand. I don't know if Riva Island is UK brand, but yeah. You have you have this shop in UK as well. For the kids and also for the dogs. And yeah, 
pay for that you can just sit and eat stuff. Looks like my hands are tired out today, but we are very busy. I think this is the main pit of what Bellagio is all about. Um, you go to Italy, you find similar concept of um, people pushing boats. I think I have a video about this in uh, what I've done in Vegas. that board basically they will like exactly like what's, what's in the Vegas uh, we had in Vegas similar similar one like a boat there and be a water to that boat guy like I don't know what do you call that boat feel like you are inside a village or maybe a castle definitely you feel that vibe but outside is very very hot but inside you feel like inside the uh, you feel like you are in the in um what do you call it? you are in, i think that guy is gonna go as well you feel like you are outside but but you are inside i don't know how to how to explain that Where is you, you are inside, but you feel like you are in outside. How can I be? I don't know how to put it. But you are inside the mall, and you can see the sky over here. Very I like it, very nice. You feel the vibe. You feel like, you feel like you're outside, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Let me go and see how much they charge for a boat ride. Hopefully not that expensive, but let's go and have a look. So it's gondola or twice. Charge for gondola? Yeah, you see this boy? Ah, oh, the boy, oh, thank you. <coughs> but, but, how much per person? Okay. I guess we are going on a 
Hi. Sorry. No worries. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I took quite a lot. <coughs> you wanna go?
Ой, вот еще. I think most of the shops here are the shops that you find in the UK. It's maybe because a lot of UK people are coming to Qatar. Today is hot chicken. Look at this chicken grill. Right, chicken. That looks nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Decent price. 52 is stuck nearby. 10 pounds. That's expensive. Bellagio is called Villaggio. I made a mistake in the beginning because my wife said Bellagio. Oh, it's not Bellagio, it's called Villaggio. But it gives you a kind of a good good feel like you are inside a village to be honest with you. Even though you are in Qatar and you get on the bus or a, a train or a metro, cab, anything, when you come outside, very very hot. And as soon as you come inside, you feel like you are in, you are outside, but you are inside. It's very cold, fully air conditioned. You got loads of shops, but you feel like it's an outdoor outdoor area. To be honest with you, I feel like I'm I'm, I'm outside. It's not, but I'm not outside. I'm inside. As you see, like that on the sky, the sky up there, and this is like like. Uh, they made it look like um, kind of apartment blocks. And uh, there's quite a lot of stuff there. You have a lot of food, food places where you can eat food. Uh, but most of the shops here are like what you can find in the UK. So unless the price is a little bit less than what you, the uh, UK price, there's no point of buying it. The only thing it's going to do is uh, increase your Luggage like allowance and also, I mean, I don't, I don't feel, I, I don't think it's necessary to buy. But for example, that there, let me show you. So over there, it's it's a food locker. It's a food locker where you can find uh, in UK. This is right next to my house anyway. So yeah, uh, I'm really tired as well. I'm tired because of the fact that um, the weather is too hot and you do get dehydrated so quickly. I'm hungry, so you need to eat something, so obviously we're going to have some, something to eat and then we quickly record one of the um, video. video. You know, we I'm 
off with those right here, like cut out, man. I don't know why. I haven't fully explored the country yet, but so far so good. People and atmosphere. It's very hot and and pricey, very expensive. I would say it's very expensive to a uh, uh, Tell the price is Doha anyway. It's very expensive. But if, if come to think about it, if, if UK, you aren't from UK and you're living in UK at the same, um, you're spending same money, same thing. And when you come to Qatar, you, if you are going to earn the same amount of money and live, living in Qatar, I would prefer to live in Qatar rather than UK, to be honest with you. In fact, a lot of people are moving away from the UK. A lot of people. I don't know why. No, I know why. Because the economy is. The, the, the things are going up big time. And not just the things, the, the price. Also, uh, crime rate is very, very high in uh, London, to be honest. To put perfectly honest with you. A person earning about 35 to 40,000 pounds a year, I don't think they can live because even though it says 40,000 a year, if your bloody take, taking all money would be about 30 because you end up paying a lot of uh, tax. In this country, you don't pay tax. And I, I spoke to a guy uh, from the hotel, he said, he basically, they provide a recommendation, food and the wages. Food, accommodation and everything for free and uh, whatever the money that he is earning is for him. So yeah, I prefer to live in Qatar than living in Ukraine. In that note, I'm going to end this video and just look around a little more and see what we can find. Let's go. That's a beautiful tree up here. Oh, no. It looks... What is this? It's like a... I don't know what this is. It's a Qatar. Maybe there's some display. Huh? Maybe it's some display. You've got a lot of... Uh, Sports items. And we got Shack Shack over oh, yeah. there. I think we are coming into a area where you have the food. Nandu's there as well. <laughs> Nandu's there. Flipping everywhere, being very. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys can see, there's something over there on the top. And we have McDonald's, look. No. McDonald's over there. And we got P.F. Chang, I don't know what that is. That's probably an Indian restaurant. Uh, let's quickly have a look at this. Yeah, it's an Indian restaurant. Yes, Chang. <coughs> they say original and only. We are more in the cafe where you can get uh, juices over there. Dining. Uh, plastic creme. Plastic creme. Is there a lot? Gold stone. Oh, that's the um, what's it called? Um, well, I'm walking out. Here yeah, we're ice skating. Look at that.
like very interesting place to be honest. Uh, I highly recommend people to come in here and it could be a day out, a night out, you can sit there, eat food, do a little bit of shopping, kind of a ice skating there as well. It's very good. Look, you got TGI, uh, TGI Friday there, Jubilee, oh, 59. It's not bad for 59. Uh, roughly about 10 quid. 10 quid. It's not bad. Reasonable. That's a reasonable price. 10 pounds. And Outback, it's got Jubilee. And you have a learning center for kids over there let's see if we can find anything for the little ones oh look it's two for 99 looks expensive <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which one I want. <laughs> Hello, how are you? So there, this is another thing here for wrap it. So you probably wrap it on yourself. <laughs> this one is decent, it's only 22. That's very cheap as well, this is very cheap. Mongolian dish. Let's have a look at the Mongolian dish. So this is a Mongolian dish. 39 for 18 so you have 40. 40 is roughly about 10 quid. 10 pounds. Kind of decent place. Apple beer over there. Football game is going on. There's another one there. I think people visiting. This is this is kind of a decent price. You know, very decent price. 
and nine real of fresh juice over there. Huh? Yeah, this looks decent. I mean, this side pots are pretty cheaper than that side. So you have like orange papaya, strawberry things for seven katari. Yeah, very decent, very nice. And you got pasta there. I want to eat as well, but yeah, chicken pasta. Chicken pasta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People are waiting. Good. Um, what drink do you want? I'll have uh, avocado. Yeah. And chicken pasta? Chicken pasta, yeah. And tea, what tea do you do? Is there any tea? Yeah, look. All these teas. You're good, that guy. No, no, don't. Why? Let's go there. Let's go there. What's wrong? Diamond, not looking at it. Smile. It's so good. Did you say what you said? What did you say? You said that's what I'm asking, what did you mean? Idiot. Didn't you hear what he said? Yeah. 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 Right. <coughs> and there's a bridge over here where you can cross it. Pretty much, very decent place. 
I wouldn't recommend anybody to if you are visiting Doha or you must visit this place. Highly recommended place, highly recommended place. Once again guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and also as I said always if you want to see any places in Doha, I'm going to be here for a couple of more days, for the three or four days. So if you want to see any places like this, put your name and the location that you're watching the video from and, and that thing that you want to see in Doha, Qatar. I can get that for you. <coughs> hey. Yep. That's pretty much it. How do I go out? Half up. Kaba, Kaba. Kaba? Yeah. Kaba, this way. This way, yeah? Yes. So you go this way. Ka yeah. Metro, metro station. Metro station. Where? This way straight outside, <laughs> get three. Kaba means the mark. What is that? Kaba means the mark. Look at those two. Look at those. <coughs> I think it's pretty like very interesting to walk along the river side. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's interesting to walk around like you feel you feel like, I mean, like outside is very very hot to be honest with you but inside it's so cold and you feel like you are inside uh, you're inside but outside I don't know how to pray how to get out to tell you that one yeah, but you are inside but you feel like you are outside yeah that's right that's, a, that's probably the right word to say very nice very nice place so I think uh, <coughs> This is going to be the end of the video guys we, i have come to the uh, the spot the way i started i believe this is where i started as you can see you can see from outside from here you can see the outside it's a little bit uh, getting darker getting darker so that's it you have a double decker bus there sit door This is where we started. I think if I'm not mistaken, I came from that yeah, side. Go over there. Or maybe this side. Maybe this way. This way, isn't it? So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is one of the uh, very popular destinations in Doha, Qatar. You have to get a metro station. Once you get a metro station, it's, I think the last stop is, and you get off there. And it's pretty much walking distance to this. This is not Bellagio, it's called Bellagio. I pronounced it wrong in the beginning, so it's called Bellagio. Bellagio. So it's basically uh, gives you a vibe of. Uh, small village an Italian village so very interesting though I'm going to end my video here so hit that subscribe button and also like button and I see you guys on my next video bye bye